What up, YouTube? This is your boy Mopar Gaming TV coming at y'all with a video. Look, today I'm gonna make this video that y'all was requesting, asking me in the comments um, how to exfil and keep your tombstone through the dark ether. So today, what we're gonna do is I got my son Jamil helping me. So what we're gonna do? He's gonna do the portion of the reviving portion. Like if you're playing with a friend, so he's gonna do the reviving part. But if you if you solo. You just have to get somebody in the lobby to do what he's going to do for me, basically, is when I die and bleed out and uh, plead for help, he's going to revive me. So all you have to do is get somebody from the lobby to do that for you, to revive you, if you plan on uh, doing it solo. But if you do it with someone, you can do it exactly like me and him going to do it up in here. So the sigil that you need to uh, go to the dark ether is this sigil right here. So this is the sigil that goes on the side that you face. They got a yellow one, which is this one. Uh, we ha This is one sigil. The only difference between the yellow one and this is an elder sigil. The elder sigil, the only difference between the two is uh, the elder sigil has a 15 minute timer to complete the missions, but the zombies is the same as the zombies with the other one. So the zombies is the same. So it doesn't matter if you use the elder, the zombies are not bigger, they're not faster. You know, it's just a shorter time. So you have 15 minutes to get all the way through, do what you do, get out in 15 minutes before the storm closed. The other one, you have 30. So that's the only difference between the two sigils. So it, I just used the brown one just because I had a lot of them. So I just used the brown one. All right. So uh, what we're going to do, we're going to get this video started. So we're going to go in the game. And what we're going to do is I'm going to go in. We're going to find the tombstone. We're going to find the tombstone perk. We're going to take everything out of our tombstones. Because he said his last game. So I probably had to get him a backpack. But uh, we're going to take everything out of the tombstones. Then we go take and run through tier five. We go reset the tombstone, then run through tier five, come back in the game, and we go show you that the tombstone is still there. And you know, that way you can know that the glitch still works. You know, because regardless, you're gonna meet a lot of people on YouTube that's gonna post all kind of videos saying this work, this work, that work, you know. But all my subscribers can tell you that everything I post is legit. So we gonna um, get this video started whenever we get up in here. We gonna go pull this stuff up out of here and make this video for y'all. I'm gonna do it step by step and I'm gonna talk you through it. So that way, you know, you won't be confused. So hopefully after this video, you know, you'll 100% know how you can exfil with your friends and don't have to worry about, um, you know, losing your tombstone. Because a lot of people want to exfil, but they don't know how. So this video is gonna be the know how. So we're going to get y'all, we're going we gonna to teach you right now how to do it. You know, if y'all like the content, I have like over a hundred and something videos. I drop content daily. So, you know, I play with my subscribers. I give out schematics, you know, so anything y'all need, you know, y'all have. Just make sure you subscribe to the channel so that way any future um, content I drop, you know, you'll be alerted and you won't miss it. Because I go live and when I go live, I give out the schematics live. So I don't record the videos and then post them. I do it live. So that way people jump in the chat and, you know, I give them the schematics and, you know, I leave out, get somebody else in and just keep doing it until, you know, I do it for a couple of hours and then I get off. So we go get in here and go get the, go get this stuff out of these tombstones. We're going to have to grab him a backpack because he don't have a backpack. So just bear with me with the backpack situation. But you you have to make sure before you uh if you plan on exfilling, just make sure that you run all the way through. You reset your tombstone. You have to reset it. You can't use the one that's already laying in the ground. You have to reset. You have to set a new one. So you have to do exactly what me and him's gonna do. You have to do this. You can't try to. Say, oh, I'm an exfil, and you already had one planted, and you, you're going to lose it. It's not going to be there. So what you have to do is you have to reset it. Just take everything out of it and just, just die and just plead for help and let them revive you. That's it. And then you can just play as free. But just make sure you don't take the story mission. If you take any story mission, you will lose your tombstone if you take any story mission. So don't take the story mission. Because I did it uh, recently. I took a story mission. And uh, did a, I did uh, the final act with the worm on Act 4. I did that with a buddy. And um, we x -filled. We set the tombstone before, but we x through that story mission. And when we x we lost the tombstone. So I had to go back and get everything all over again. So, you know, it's just for future reference. Don't, if you plan on x make sure you only use the Dark Ether portal. 
and you don't close the game out. You go straight all the way through with it. You don't close it out because you're not going to lose the tombstone. You know, as long as you reset it first, you're not going to lose it. Because the game's going to recognize that you died. So, but you got to, because that's what, so basically it must play until your high works. Just for people who don't understand how the perk works. So the way the perk works is, when you put the perk on, it's at the bottom of your screen, right? So it's it's a cheap debt script. It's a cheap debt to where you don't lose all your items. So once you die, the tombstone perk goes away. So whenever that tombstone perk goes away, whatever you had in your bag at that point is what's gonna be in your tombstone when you when you come back in the game. So the game's gonna recognize that you died. And that's the reason why you don't want to exfil with a tombstone that's already in the game because the game is not going to recognize that you died. It's just going to recognize that you uh, that you exfil, and it's going to take whatever tombstone you got in game. It's going to remove it. So just make sure you don't um you don't do that. See, this is his this is his tombstone right here that we set last game. So this is his, and this is mine. So this is everything I have in mind. So I'm going to just take everything out of it. Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, all right, I'll just use this. I'll just use the legendary tool. And I'll just use this. All right, just so I can make room for that. All right. Jamil, you need a bag, right? Yeah. Okay. So let me see where, how far the buy station is. Okay, cool. The buy station right here. Station all right, here. let's go get on the boat and go get your backpack. Open your, oh, open your tombstone. Get your money out. Just open it. Don't take nothing out of it. Just open it, and it's gonna give you the money. Hey, I'm gonna just go out the way. Yeah, just open it and take the money. Yours on top of the building, bro. Oh yeah, well, well, his wasn't right there. My bad. His up here. I forgot we let him set his up here because it's easier. All right, come on, let's go. Let's go get a backpack. And then we're going to come back and take everything out. We're going to take this boat right here, too. I'll get a step. All right, let's go get a backpack. Then we're going to take everything out the tombstones, and I'm going to show y'all exactly how to get up out of here and keep everything. All right, we got to go all the way around. It's not as hard as it seems. It's just that people get confused because they, they're scared that they're going to lose their tombstone. So they're hesitant about exfilling but it's just a certain way you have to do it that's all you don't have to be nervous because i'm gonna show you that it works okay so we gonna go this way all right let's get out right here come on let's see i don't think we can climb these doggone rocks we can try but i don't think they're gonna let us up let's just go this way they got stairs over here come on let's just go up the stairs we'll go grab your backpack and then we go finish this video off for the for the viewers to help people to make sure that y'all understand how to do this so this video right here is the one that we're going to use to make sure we clear everything up for y'all hold up hold up all right jamil make sure you stay out and don't let those zombies kill you i got a, I got a decoy right here. all right come on go buy your backpack right here i'm gonna get it because i'm quicker than you i'm gonna buy it for you just come pick it up Pick that up. And jump off this ledge. Hurry up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Come on. Come on. I got it in my bag. Come on. I got it in my bag. Alright. Jump off the cliff and get the boat. I got it in my bag. Come on. Alright. Yeah, whenever I whenever I made space in my bag, when I use those, uh I use that thing, it put it in my bag. I got it for you. It's in my bag. So we're gonna go and we're gonna go set this, get this, uh, <clears throat> take your stuff out there. And then we're gonna come back in the game and show everybody that both of our tombstones are still there. So let's go over here. Park this boat. And I'm gonna give you a blade too before we go uh, run to that portal. But as long as you stay close to me and just put your gun up and run with your fist, you'll be all right. How far, oh, the, how, far the, how far the ammo station is? The ammo station not far. I'm going to dupe the blade for you. So I'm going to actually give you all a little extra in this video and show you how to dupe the blade too. All right, go upstairs and go get your stuff out your tombstone. 
Oh, here, 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 here. Shit, I'm coming. No, I gotta go back down. Nah, don't go down. I'm gonna go down. Stay up there. Here. Shit. All right, hold on. Let me kill this last one. All right, here. Equip that. I'll be right back. Let me go dupe this blade for you so I can give you this blade. I'll be right back. A little help. Alright. Whoa, 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 whoa. What about to give me roll kill? Alright. We got all your stuff out there? Yeah. Did it crumble? Yep. Alright, come on. Here, pick this pick this blade up. Alright, let's go. All right, you two, this the part y'all been waiting for. Sorry, we took a little while. We just had to get him straight because he don't really play zombies. So he just came just to help me make the video for y'all. So as y'all can see that, this is what I took out my tombstone. All right. So we're going to go over here. So what you want to do, remember, you saw, uh, oh, Jamil, my bad, my bad. We got to go, we got to, uh, we got to get the perk first. We got to go get the perk first. So what we gonna what we gonna do, Jamil? After we um after I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna make I'm gonna start the video. I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna just start it once we go get the perk. Let's go get the perk first. Uh, let me find the fucking machine. Oh, the machine right here. So let's go get the let's go get the perk first, and then we gonna do the uh then I'm gonna create it. I'm gonna create the video after we get the perk. Oh come on, get in this truck. Oh this bitch on fire. Don't get now. All right, come on. Yeah, because we had to run around, and I really don't want this video to be long. I want it to be quick. So once we get the perk, I'm going to do the explaining again, and yeah. All right. You want, you want me to show you how to dupe the blade? So you got to gotta throw it. You got to throw it, then refill your ammo, and then open your inventory up. Go down to your, your knife, and you got to drop it. So you got to throw it, reload, refill. When it comes back, refill, open your inventory, go to the knife and drop it. Oh, it says it's on cooldown. I didn't even let me... Oh. No, you got to refill. I, I said you got to refill, bro. Yeah, I clicked refill, but I clicked the wrong button for inventory. So is the box on cooldown? Yeah. It said 57 seconds last Oh, let's go. We ain't, got, we ain't got 57 seconds. Let's go. Let's go get this perk. Fucking dumbass dog go on. Do we got a self revive? We're gonna buy a self revive too. Where is this fucking machine? Oh, I'm way over there. Fuck machine over there. Yeah, see I, I wanted to see last last game would have been better. You could try it right here at this ammo station. If you wanna try it right here, look, they got another one right here. Do it. You, you can't, can't you gotta refill when the knife come back to you. When the knife come back is when you refill. You can't refill until it come back. So you gotta throw it. When the knife come back, refill, hurry up, open the inventory, go down to the knife and then drop it. Did it drop? Oh, I heard I it. Know. I heard it. Yeah, I heard it too. Cool. I heard it. Did you do it? Did you drop it and seen it reappear? Here. Oh, I didn't. I have one in my inventory. It's not in the same spot it was. You oh, you have one in your bag bag because you stole it. You didn't drop it. That's why. No, right, I don't have on. one in my bag bag. My bag bag full. Oh, okay. Come on, don't worry about it. But you saw how to do it, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's how you do. That's how you duplicate the blade. But you gotta drop it. But you can't aim towards the box. If you face in the box, it's gonna drop it inside the box. Because it drops well, it the way it, it, it drops it the way the angle that you're facing. So if you face the box, it's gonna drop it inside the box. Alright, let's go over here and do this real quick. And we go jump off that crane and go back. 
but I'm going to jump up on top of the crane and then make the video. I'm going to start the video once we get the perk. All right, buy it, buy the can. All right, let's go. Right, so that thing you don't spawn in the same place every time. What? The tombstone? The tombstone? Oh, the perk machine? Yeah. No, it it, it, spawns, it spawns all over the place. Well, they had a shop right there where we was at. We didn't even have to make that extra trip. Right there where our tombstones was at, they had a shop. Uh huh? Right there where our tombstones were at, they had a shop. No, they don't sell it. You can't buy it. You gotta find it. For the, how you get up there? A zip line. The yeah, cable. Oh, jump. Jump right here. No, you gotta jump. Alright, we're gonna go to we gonna, the large backpack. We're gonna go right here. Oh, we can't. We're gonna go here first. And then we're gonna set your tombstone. And then we're gonna set mine. So let's go to the buy station first. Matter of fact, fuck that buy station. Yeah, let's go to the buy station just in case you die. Just come on, let's go get this and then we go zip line back up. Yeah, see, this video would have been too long. That's why I'm going to redo it because I want this to be fast. I don't want it to be long. I want it to be detailed and quick. At least about five minutes. No more than five minutes. All right, just come here and buy you a vest too. Buy you a vest. A three plate? Yep. Oh, I got one already. All right, pick up these grenades right here. Equip them. All right, that's decoy grenades. So wherever you throw those, they're gonna make shooting sounds and shit, and the zombies gonna run to it. So just come on. Oh shit, we can just nah. Fuck that. Let's go over here. This taller. All right. So what we gonna do is we gonna set we gonna set yours first. We gotta do the exact same thing, but this time I'm gonna revive you. We're not gonna, you're not gonna leave the game, so don't leave the game. Alright, come on. Zip line up. What do you say? Oh, all you have these. Oh, they're gonna do, they wanna fight the red worm. I think you can see what I'm talking about as soon as we get there. So I'm going to just drop right here. Yeah, you see on the shopping cart right Oh, there. yeah, the buy station. Yeah, I, I got you. I found yeah, it. Yeah, we have to make that issue. <laughs> bro, shit, I didn't, I didn't even think about it, bro. All right, so this is what we're going to do. So drop me the legendary tool. The, the gold tool, the gold wrench. This? Yep. No, the gold wrench. You don't have a gold wrench? Pick that back up. Like yeah, pick that back up. All right, store this. All right. You have the, do you have the chest plate that regenerates? It's one of them gold thingies? What's it called? No, it's a, it looks just like that. It's brown, but it got a bear, a little oh, teddy bear no, on it. All right, it don't matter. Let's kill this dude. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so, uh, drop me money. Press down and just drop money. Press R3. All right, just get me maxed out to 99 and 99, and then we go stop. All right. All right. All right, pick this up. Pick that up so it won't go away. Go or pick it up. Stow it. You should already have one equipped, right? You should have one, right? Oh, I had to buy one. Well, no shit. Oh, I'm gonna go buy one. Right no, here. no, 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 no. You don't need that yet, bro. 
I'm just saying we're going to get one before we go run through that portal. Oh, okay. That way, if you get knocked down, you can get your ass back up. All right. Now I'm going to make the video. What up, YouTube? It's your boy Mopar Gamer coming at you with a video today. I'm going to make this quick video about how to uh, exfil with your Tombstone solo or with a friend. Because uh, I had a comments in section asking me um, basically how to exfil. Do they close the app or whatever? So what we're going to do in this video, as you can see, we already got the uh, Rest in Peace perk, the uh, Tombstone perk is at the bottom. We already picked it up. So what we're going to do today, this is what's in my inventory. So what we're going to do today is we're going to uh, go ahead and kill ourselves. And he's going to revive me. And then I'm going to show you, and he's going to do the exact same thing. So we're going to basically set our tombstones. So I'm going to jump off the cliff. I'm going to give up. Then I'm going to hold down to, uh, plea, to uh, plea for help. And once I plead for help, he's going to jump down. He's going to come revive me. Once he come revive me, then he's going to do exactly what I did. And once we get his tombstone set, we're going to run through the dark portal. And I'm going to show you how you exfil with a friend or solo. All right. So I'm going to jump off. Jamil, once I jump off and hit the ground, you're going to have to come down here and get me up. But I'm going to let you know when to revive me. All right. All right. So you jump down. You get like this. You hold O to give up. Give up. Then you hold down to request for your friend to come pick you up. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Revive me, Jamil. So once you do that, then tell your friend to revive you. Now the game recognized that I died in game, so now my tombstone is set. All right, so now my tombstone set. As you can see, my rest in peace perk is gone. Jamil, drop that uh, self revive that I told you to hold. All right. So I'm gonna equip this back here. I'm gonna give you back your wrench. Come get your wrench. Don't use the wrench. Store the wrench. How many spaces you got left in your bag? None. No, none. All right, here. Take and max your money out. So we gonna max his money out just so he got max money in his tombstone. All right. Now go up there and jump off the cliff just like I did. When you jump off the cliff, hold O to give up just like we taught you last time. Jump off the cliff, hold O to give up, then hold down. And let me know when it's requesting for you to, uh, that you can be revived by other players. Well, you should be able to see it. They're going to have a medical symbol pop up on your map. All right, you ready? All right, now I'm ready. All right. Then you revive him, and his tombstone is set. All right. So I'm going to let him go grab him a self-revive real fast. All right, go up and hit to this buy station. Buy you a self-revive real quick. Go ahead. Buy one. You got it? Oh, hold on. Give me a second. I got it. Oh, yeah, I got it. I got it. All right, let's go. All right, so once you do that and you set your tombstone, the perk's gone from the bottom. All right, so now the game recognized that we died in-game. So now... All we got to do now is just run over here and hit go exhale. And you don't use the bad signal portal. You, you don't want to use that portal. You want to use the middle portal. That's what you need this sigil for. So at this point, you can technically drop everything in your bag for your friend or anybody in game. And when you come back, your tombstone is still going to have all this stuff in it. All right, Jamil, pressure, pressure pad, pressure pad in the middle and vote yes. Press your pad on the control in the center and press yes. All right. Now this is basic. This is where the brown one go and this is where the yellow one go. The yellow one goes here. All right, so you wanna go in here and I'm gonna show you the route I take. When I come into this portal, I'm gonna show you the route I take. So that way you can know exactly how I run through here so you don't um, get killed. Because the way I go is I go to where I could just kill the first zombies at the bottom, kill one set of zombies at the top, and everything else from there is just get up, get up out the game. So it's pretty easy, but just remember, you saw how we just set our tombstones, right? We jumped off the cliff, I gave up, I pleaded for help, let somebody come revive me, he jumped down, he revived me, then he did it. And our tombstone perk disappeared because it, the game recognized that the tombstones is set. So at this point, this is how you, this the exfil portion. 
So this is the portion that you guys was asking me about where y'all was confused. So with this portion, we're going to just run all the way through, non-stop. We ain't going to do nothing but kill whatever's in our way on the way to the x -field. All right, come on, Jamil. All right, so we go jump. So when you come this way, go right, jump over this cliff, jump on here, and just run. Try not to grab that up A-bomb. Uh, kill this little dude right here. Kill him. And a couple of other ones right there. Throw your knife, Jamil. Kill those behind me. Kill these. Just keep up with me, Jamil. And these zombies hit hard. If you hear a dog, kill that dog. I killed it. But just if you ever hear a dog behind you, turn around and kill it. All right, take this zip line. Go up to the top. They're going to have zombies up here. You want to throw your blade, kill whatever's up here. Jump up here. Jump up here. All right. Come up here. Come on. All right. Jump up here. You run to the right. Run all the way around here. A lot of people say just run through the middle. I don't run through the middle because then you have a ton of zombies chasing you. And I don't have time for that. See, if you look right here, look, we, there's nothing behind us. We can just walk if we want. So come this way. Go through this door right here. All right, jump. Go downstairs. Take a right. You see the purple door? Don't go that way. Go this way. All right. Come down. Jump down here. Jump down to the middle. Go up the stairs. Come this way. You're going to know which way you need to turn when you see this horse. You see this horse? Turn right. Go up the stairs. All the way to the roof. All right, go through this door, and the exfil is right here. So just go up here to this, up this ladder right here, and the portal's right there. So Jamil, just take the portal and go all the way out the game. Let the game take you all the way out. So you want to hit the exfil, and don't close the app. Just let the game take you. Don't close the app. Don't. Just let the game pull you out, and it's going to say successful exfil. It's going to tell you that you completed it. It's going to show you what you had in your bag and all that stuff, so just let it go. Sometimes you get stuck on this screen, but when you're with a friend, let the friend get out the game. And if the friend gets out the game and you get stuck on the screen, just let the friend send you an invite, a party invite, and you just accept the invite. And it's going to pull you out the game. Don't let your friend pull you out the game with him. Don't leave with party. Tell him leave by itself. All right, let this stuff finish up. All right, once this stuff finish up, now it says leave match. You see how it says leave out with part of the game? No, I'm, a, I'm not going to hit yet. I'm going to hit no. I want to go by myself. So I hit no. Jamil, is you, you out the game? Oh, he's not in the party chat. So I'm going to invite him back to the party chat. And then we're going to get him over here talking. But as you can see, we done fully expel. We're going to skip all that. We don't want to see none of that. All right, so let's get, let's get him back in the party. Uh, and then we can show you that the tombstones, my tombstone is still there and so is his. All right, so we're going to invite him back. All right. And uh, now if you look, I still got my gun. It didn't give any schematics because I learned them. Because that's why if you exfil with any schematics, it's going to take the schematics. You're not going to keep the schematics. All right. You can hear me, Jamil? Yep. Okay, alright, so now we're going to go back in the game and show you that the tombstones are there. We don't have our ether blade, so yeah. Matter of fact, I'm going to bring one in with me. I'm not going to run around without that. I hate them zombies, man. Them zombies be running like they own, like they're Usain Bolt running behind you. So I'm going to just grab this ether blade, then we're going to go in the game, and you're going to see that the tombstone is still there. But you saw exactly how I did it. You don't close the game out. Don't close the game. Just let the game exfil you. And you saw when they asked me, did I want to pull all party members? And I pressed no. That's what you want to do. You don't want to pull the party members because if your friend is not at the loading screen or is he lagging behind you and you pull him out, you can mess his tombstone up. So you always want to leave by yourself. And if he say he's stuck on a loading screen and he can't get out, just send him a party. Just go to the party, the friend list, go to the party, go here, find his name and send him a, send him a request. And then all he got to do is accept it and it's going to pull him into the party. That's how you get out of the, the stuck screen. All right, so once we get back in here, we're going to show you that the tombstones are still there with all the money, all the cash, all the everything in it. And then I'm going to show you. Well, then we're going to leave the game and close out. And that's going to be the end of this video, you know. So that way you know everything in this video still, everything works. And this is the easiest way to do it. The route that I took inside of the Dark Ether 
is the best route to take because you don't really have to fight. All you got to do is fight your way up, kill a few zombies on the top of the castle, and everything else is just free will. You just run. That's it. And there's no zombies chasing you, no dogs, none of that. You run through the middle, you end up getting chased by zombies. And if you run into a wall and zombies kill you, then you die inside there and you lose your tombstone. So you don't want to die inside of that. Now, you can set your tombstone inside of the dark ether. Like, for example, if say, for example, if you and your friend was doing the dark ether and y'all wanted to keep y'all, keep y'all, uh, as you can see, my tombstone logo is right there on the map. But uh, if you wanted to set your tombstone and you got some stuff in there that you wanted to keep, you just have to drink the tombstone can, die inside of the dark ether, and then it'll put your tombstone out here at the graveyard. So they got a graveyard that's over there. The graveyard is right here. So the graveyard is over here somewhere. Let me see. Yeah, the grave. No, that's not the graveyard. The graveyard is. Where it's at? Where it's at? This is Jensen. We've got a anyway, the graveyard is somewhere over here. But that's where your tombstone will spawn if you set it inside of the dark ether. It's gonna spawn with everything that you had in your bag. So let me let me quit this. All right. All right. So let's go run and get to these tombstones. And we gonna show, we gonna show ourselves. Let's take this zip line, you know. We gonna take this line right here. We gonna show y'all that everything that we put in our tombstones is still in there. The schematics he learned them, so all the schematics he had, he still learned them, so he should still have them. The only thing that you're not gonna keep is your ether blade. You're gonna lose that. You're gonna lose your ether blade. So you can't keep that, but everything else you keep. Except your uh, schematics, of course, because it, it's a schematic. So it's made for you as plans. So it just make you learn the plan. But it's still in your tombstone. So you can hand it out to your friends if you want. Uh, the best thing I would just, um, say is just put stuff in there that you can play the game with. Or if you wanted to increase your inventory. you know. But just remember, if you did go to the dog Ethan, you wanted to keep the stuff that you got in there, you can drink a tombstone can in there and then die with the stuff that's in your bag. And then just leave the match and you're going to keep have everything in there all right and as you can see my tombstone is right here and his is right there so this is my tombstone right here and look it has everything in it all the stuff that i had my sigil everything so i'm going to just take everything out crumble it all your stuff there too right jamil yeah all right so take everything out just take it out crumble it Every time you come in game, you have to take everything out of your tombstone and crumble it. You have to take everything out. All right. You, you, yeah, you didn't have space for that? Yeah, no. You had two of them? Yep. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop. I'm going to just drop the schematic plans for somebody. And then we're going to end the video. So... I hope this video cleared up a lot of stuff for y'all, man, and, you know, made things clearer for y'all. You know, I did the best I could trying to explain it, and so I hope I was very descriptive to y'all. Um, you know, like, comment, subscribe, so any future content that I drop, you'll be alerted to it. If you need any help, I go live and give these schematics away live. Um, I have gun cases. I have everything. I can teach you how to set your tombstones, how to increase your inventory size. You know, it doesn't matter. But as you can see the tombstone that that is how you exfil with your friends or solo you can do it solo too and that's how you set your tombstone and keep it so once again man i appreciate the views i appreciate the subscriptions anybody who sub i appreciate you y'all mean a lot to all us with the small channels you know we do our best to try to help the community and grow our channel you know so we appreciate all the support but this your boy mopar gaming tv and i'm out until the next time peace